Um, hello, so today we are going to do this problem called validate binary search tree. Um, so the problem says we get uh, the root of a binary tree and we want to determine if it is a valid binary search tree. And basically the definition of a valid binary search tree is that the left side is has only values w that are or keys that are less than the node, the parent node, and the right side's um, elements or keys are greater than the node's key. Um, and also, both left and right subtrees need to recursively be a valid BSTs. So, for example, here, one smaller than T, so good, two smaller than three, or three, the right, bigger than two. So, it's, it's a valid binary search tree here. Um, if we take a look at this one, um, this one, one smaller than five, so good here, five smaller than four, right? Uh, bigger than, f sorry, um, yeah, five, four is b is smaller than four, than five. So this is not a valid binary search tree. Also, three is um, smaller than five, so not a valid binary search tree here. So we need to return false. Um, so that's the problem. Now let's see how we can solve it. Um, okay, so let's see how we can solve it. So um, one thing to think about is that um, what do we need? So we need the left side to be smaller. Basically, let's just write this down. We need the left values to be smaller than the node, than the parent value. And then we need the right values to be bigger. Okay? Um, so, we definitely know that for a node, the, we need the left node, its left side value to be smaller than the node value. And also, same thing, f for the right value, we need we need it to be bigger. But one thing you notice here when when I said this is that um, this is actually this needs um, all the left values and all the right values to be b smaller and bigger than the parent of the node, right? So if you have something like let's say six here, and then you have uh, maybe five, and then you have some children here, like a subtree. And then you have maybe eight here, and then you have some subtree here, right? All the values in, so all the values in this left side here need to be smaller than six. You can't have nine here. If you have nine here, this is not a valid binary search tree. Um, and the same, and same thing, similar thing for eight here. If you have, let's say, um, you can't have four here. Right? Because then 4 is smaller than 6, so that invalidates it. So this piece here is what makes the problem slightly trickier. We can just take the node and check its left and right side and see if they are not valid like this, return false. We can't just do that. That's not enough. Um, like We can have something like this, uh, 5 smaller than 6, 8 smaller than, uh, bigger than 6, so valid here for just this this side but if we have four here all the way down and it fails then we have a problem right so we know we can recurse right we can just recurse and each time check the node it's left and right side check if they are valid return uh, continue if they are valid if they are not valid just stop here return false so if we have something like six nine and maybe twelve no need to explore the left and the right side. We already know that this fails, so we can just return false. Uh, but in the case where it's valid, we need to continue and check the left side and the right side. But when checking the left side, what's the boundary that we are looking for? So when checking just this, 5 and 8, well, we know that we need 5 to be smaller than 6, and we need 8 to be bigger than 6. So the lower bound is 6, Right, our lower bound here is six, is the uh, parent node. Our upper bound, like they can be uh, eight, can be as higher as she want, uh, as possible. So here we have five, is the lower bound. Five is, should be smaller than th the lower bound, so let's call it a left, and then the right should be. S let me just write this down. So uh, what I'm trying to see here is how can we write it in terms of a lower bound and an upper bound, and that way we can pass these two uh, parameters to the function, um, to the, our recursive function. Um, so what this means here is that we need a node. We can, if we can pass just two parameters, lower bound and then upper bound, 
and just each time on our DFS processing, just check if the node value is within these bounds, right? So, um, which means it needs to be smaller, right? Um, and then it needs to be, it needs to be bigger than lower and smaller than upper, right? Um, and if we find that this is false, we can exit right away. <laughs> What this would mean is basically if we have four here, right, we can return false immediately and not have to explore all the subtrees, right? Um, okay, so now um, how do we do that? Um, so we can just have our DFS function. Um, the base case is when the node is nil, which means we reached, um, we are after a leaf node. So um, then we return true, right? Because then when we reach the leaf node and we haven't exited because the condition is false, that means we we were able to find a valid BST. So base case, uh, node none is none, okay? And at that point we can return true, okay? Now what about the, the, the processing step because we want to exit early. So when this condition is not valid, we can return false. So if basically the, um, so this is our processing here. If the node value is either the reverse of the valid condition, so if it's um, smaller or equal to lower, or if the node value is bigger or equal to upper, then we return false. This is not a valid binary search tree. Now, the question becomes, when we are at a node, let's say six parent here, what should be should we pass as lower and upper to the left side and what we should pass uh, to the right side right so this is our recurrence relation um, now let's call it recurs so for the left side we are going to pass node that left what do we want we want all the elements in the left side to be smaller than the parent right so we want the parent to be the upper bound so definitely here we will pass as upper the parent which is node dot val. Okay. What do we want to be the lower bound? Well, whatever was the lower bound before, right? Um, let's say we are here in the right side of five. Okay. We know our lower bound should be six, but we know um, we know we shouldn't be actually here. We shouldn't be um, we should be larger than five. So we know our lower bound needs to be five, but do we have an upper bound here? No, but on the right side here, our, we shouldn't, our upper bound is five, right? And so basically what I'm saying here is the lower bound for the left side doesn't need to change. And then to recurse on the node.right, what do we need? Um, so on the right side, we know that our lower bound, so for eight, for example, it needs to be smaller than six. And all elements under eight needs to be smaller than six. So what this would mean is that for the lower bound, it needs to be the node value. So all the elements in here, they need to be smaller than eight. Sorry, they need on the left side, they need to be smaller than eight, but on the right side, they need to be bigger than eight. So their lower bound is eight, right? So it's node that val. So lower bound each time changes for the right side to be the parent node. But in terms of the upper bound, they all, um, on, the, on the right side, um, the upper bound doesn't change, right? Whatever was the upper bound that we passed, it, it's still the same. We just need it to be bigger than 8, right? So the upper bound doesn't change, okay? Uh, I hope this a little bit more is a little bit clear. So for the left side, we need it to be always smaller than the node value which means that the node value, the upper bound needs to be the node value because it needs to be smaller than it. Uh, for the lower bound, for the left side, we don't care. So we can pass like inf minus infinity uh, at the start and then each time it's just the same lower bound because it can be as, as, slow, uh, as, as low as, as it want. Uh, for the right side, we need to change the upper bound. Sorry, we need to change the lower bound because um, they can be as high as we wish, but they have to be smaller than the parent. And so that's why we pass node val as the lower bound. 
Um, so I hope this is clear. So this is the general structure of what we need to follow. We know our recursion, we know our base case, and we know what's the processing that we want to check. Um, and if all of these both are true, so each of the left subtree and the right subtree and the node itself is valid, um, uh, and all of them return true, we can just return true at the end. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now let's code this solution and make sure it passes. Um, okay, so let's write down this solution here. Um, so we need our recursive function first, so um, we need to pass a node um, and then we need to call it on the root here um, and return that. Now we need a lower bound and an upper bound. Initially what should they be? So initially we do, the root can be, the value can be any number, we don't really um, have a boundary. So what we can do is just pick the smallest possible value and the largest possible value. So we can pick minus 2 to the power of 31. Uh, but for this to be like node value can be this value exactly. So let's pick a smaller element for the lower bound to be valid. Um, and then for the uh, upper bound, we want, it can be as large as possible up to this number. So we can just pick this number plus 1 um, for something that is a valid upper bound. Uh, you can also use float minus infinity and float infinity in Python if you wish to. Um, that's also a valid solution. Um, okay, so now we said our base case needs to be um, if we already are um, past the leaf node, so we can return true because we weren't able to find an invalid value, um, which means we now we have a valid BST, um, and we process the node. So if the node value is smaller or equal um, so here, we want to return false early if we found an invalid BST at this node. And so to check that, what we do is we check if uh, the node value is smaller than the lower bound, right? It, sh it, sh it, should be, um, it should be always greater than lower bound for it to be valid. Or if the node value is uh, bigger or equal to the upper bound, right? Um, we saw this in the overview. If it's bigger or equal, that means it's an invalid BST. So it's not false. And now we need to recurse. So uh, we need to recurse on the left side, um, and the lower bound stays the same, right? Uh, but we don't want it to exceed the parent node. The left side has to be smaller than the parent node. Um, and for we want to want both to be true. We want both the left side and the right side to be true. So we do end here. Um, and we recurse on the right side, and what should be the lower bound for the right side? It should be the parent, because um, we can go as high as we want, but it has to be uh, bigger than the parent. And so we want the lower bound to be the node value, and the upper bound stays the same. Um, so if we run this... Um, lower, upper... Oh, so this should be parameter. Okay, so let's submit. Okay, so that passes test cases. Um, yeah, so in terms of time complexity, we do at most um, the the number of the height of the tree or the number of nodes at least. So we can say it's open. Um, yeah. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this problem. You can also do it with in-order traversal. So you could just do in-order traversal. Um, and if it's a valid BST, the result needs to be um, sorted, right? In-order means left node and uh, left node and the um, and right, so one, two, three. So if it's a valid BST, the result, the, the result um, from that in order traversal needs to be sorted. So you can just check if it's sorted or not. Um, you could do it recursively, but then you would have to create the entire list. But if you do it iteratively, it's easier. You could just check as you go. Uh, if you find an element w w smaller than the previous one, uh, you know you don't have a valid uh, sorted uh, result, and so you can return false. So yeah, it's also possible to do it within order traversal. Um, yeah, let's uh, try that at home. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Bye.